Ladies and gentlemen, we have now reached a new low in relationship dynamics. Soft guy era versus the 4B movement. Which one will win? Let's find out. In my soft guy era, why are you giving me $20 to get lunch? What am I going to do with $20? If you're not sending me $150 as my girl, if you're not sending me $150 for my food, what purpose do you serve? I am in my soft guy era. I'm talking to this girl. She said, hey, do you want to stop over at McDonald's? Do you hate me? You should have said Chick-fil-A and at that, that is still disrespecting me. I only do Ruth Chris, Del Frisco's and Nobu. You should know that. Me and my guys are out at dinner for my birthday and I invite you as my girl. Why aren't you picking up the bill for all of my friends? I am in my soft guy era. I'm talking to my girl. She sent me $40 for a haircut. I sent it right back. What the f am I going to do with $40? Why aren't you sending me 150 minimum? That's why I don't have a haircut. I'm not going to tolerate that disrespect. Soft guy era, fellas. What we doing? Is that what we doing in 2024? I mean, at the end of the day, you got to know your worth and what you want to do. But I can see a lot of guys not being submissive to a female. So I'm not seeing how this would work. However, these are different times, things change, and it looks like men are kind of fed up to how the whole dating dynamic is being set up to be. Soft guys are not expensive to take care of. Like I don't have any problem paying all the bills and taking care of you. The problem that I have with these soft men is that they won't submit. Mm -hmm. They won't listen. Sister, I agree. Listen, fellas, when you're in your soft guy era, you just have to submit. We are not expensive. All we need is a haircut. We can clip our own nails, things of that nature. We're good. Hook the game up, play the game all day, talk to the guys on the game, on the mic. We're good. We'll eat microwavable food all day. It does not matter. We are cheaper to take care of. So all you have to do is submit to your wife. It's, that's all you got to do. You have nothing to worry about. Our male maintenance is not expensive. Our male maintenance is maybe $200 max compared to a woman's. It's actually cheap. So when you're in your soft guy era, as long as she's not telling you to do anything that'll risk your life or go against your morals, submit. It's not hard. How hard would it be to live bill free and just to clean up? If she's respecting you and not making you feel like a slave, then you're good. Just submit. It'll be the easiest soft life you ever live. I'll have to agree with him in terms of men are simple. Guys usually don't need much to be happy. We're okay with a video game, talking to the guys, playing basketball. Sometimes we just like just to be alone in our man cave and that's it. Give us some good food and we good. Compared to what a man would do taking care of a woman, yeah, it's gonna cost a man a lot more to take care of a woman than a woman to take care of a man. Now I disagree with the fact that a woman should sit there and take care of a man. I don't believe that it's, it's productive when woman has 100% of the responsibility to take care of a dude. I think this whole thing is getting out of control that a woman should do this and a man should do that. If, if we don't come together and figure out a middle ground this can be a wrap. The 4B movement is a movement in South Korea right now where the misogyny and sexism is so bad that South Korean women have decided to opt out of dealing with men entirely. That is not a joke. That is not an exaggeration. They are not dating men. They are not marrying men. They are not having children with men. They're not even sleeping with men anymore. And it's called the 4B movement because the Korean words for those four things all start with the letter B. This kind of first started happening around 2016 when Kim Ji Young, born 1982, a novel came out. And it is a fictional book about a Korean every woman and all of the misogyny and sexism that she's experienced from literally being a child all the way to her being an adult suffering with postpartum depression after having her child. Now, this book became a runaway bestseller among South Korean women because they were like, she's just like me for real. And that's kind of when it started cooking, right? Now, the movement officially got its name in 2019 and it's just been 
going ever since. It's so successful, in fact, that now South Korea has one of the lowest birth rates in the world. The number of deaths in South Korea outnumber the number of births in South Korea. And it's hilarious because all the men and the government are like, oh my God, what do we do? We, they, they don't want to like talk to us. They don't want to date us. They don't. I, what do we do? Like everything's in shambles. We don't know what to do. When South Korean women have been very clear from day one, they're like, hey, either you get your act together or we are literally eliminating all of this. Like, we are shutting it down. So that's the 4B movement and why I'm so obsessed with it and why I think we should have the 4B movement everywhere. See, I don't think that the 4B movement would apply to the West. I think the women in the West have it really good. Now, before you sit there and say, well, you're not a woman, you don't understand the, exp the female experience, name one right that a woman does not have that a man does before you go down that road. It's just that when we start saying, okay, I'm gonna leverage this to get what I want and then I'm gonna leverage that, it's kind of like you're cutting off your nose to spite your face. No one's gonna end up winning. If the male and female can't find a common ground, then the birth rate's gonna decline. There's gonna be minimal to no marriages. You're gonna see a lot of single parent homes. You're gonna see a lot of single people in general and it's gonna be a travesty. It doesn't work out in the end because once our parents get older and you know they pass away, then what's left? There's gonna be no kids to usher in a new future, a new generation, a new, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. Now, I can see the frustration on both sides, especially if men are saying, you know, soft guy era. Let's be honest, women are starting to earn more. Women are working. And now they're looking down on guys like, hey, if you don't make equal to what I make or more, then I'm not messing with you. Now, I'm not saying all women are like that, but you're starting to see that rhetoric more and more. So if that's the case, men are going to say, OK, well, cool. If you can't beat them, join them. Now I want you to take care of me. I'm going to sit at home, do the house duties and you come home and bring home the bacon and give me an allowance, too, while you're at it. Now, if you want a guy that's going to be like that and you got money, then yeah, I mean, to each their own. If you got standards, if you say, okay, well, I'm willing to take care of a guy, but he's got to take care of his body. He's got to look like, you know, guys have like a trophy wife, then women could have like a trophy husband where he's got to look good, stay in the gym, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know what the equivalent to that is. Maybe women don't value that. They probably value more of an emotional stance. Like, well, maybe... You know, if I'm gonna take care of you, you gotta give me more of emotional support or you gotta clean. I can come home and talk to my girls and put my feet up. Meanwhile, you have to clean, you know, rub my feet, cook me food. You know, we could see those, you know, gender roles switch. Now for the men with the whole soft guy era thing, I mean, I don't really subscribe to that. I feel more fulfilled when I take care of somebody that I love, somebody that I wanna see do better in life. And I think that's more masculine in my opinion when doing that, when being a provider. I can get it though, why men want to take on the role that a woman usually normally take on um, in terms of uh, what has been done in society. Now, the question is, who will win? Would it be the 4B movement? Or would it be the soft guy era movement? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck. I honestly think that no one's gonna win out of these two movements. If I was to be a betting man, if I was to guess who would win, I would honestly say the 4B movement. Just because women, they have a code. And you see it that it's way stronger than the bro code. You'll see a man snake another man just to get to his girl or an ex-girl. And men are more loyal to a woman more than they are to their bros. Now, obviously there's different cases of that, but to be honest with you, majority of the time, bros usually break the bro code. Sister code, I rarely see it broken. As a matter of fact, women will be scared to speak up in front of other women in support of another man just so that they don't get called a pick me or you know they don't get 
shamed or uh, bullied by the other women in the group. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate y'all watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.